Hi all, welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play Path of the Vampire. Yeah, we start off. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. I don't know either, so let's go inside. Yeah, we start off here and showing you what has been made to our new Lakeview Manor. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, by the way, I've also gained a level. And that's from crafting all those things. So yeah, here, as you can see, the only thing we need are the mounts. Uh, on the walls but we have gotten a few more containers like this end table right here and I think it was something else but I can't quite, quite remember <laughs> in here we have gotten a couple of chests and barrels and yeah just a little more thing and uh, I'm already starting to build a new thing out here in here let me just uh, do this for now. <laughs> Don't want to show you too much uh, at once. And here we have gotten a little, uh, uh, yeah, a little safe room. You want to call it like that? We've got a safe right here. Uh, close that thing up. Yeah. <clears throat> the only thing we need here is these two wall mounts right here. As for the bedroom, we have gotten some more. Uh, there's a little long chest here, some other chests and stuff, and the kids have gotten each a chest of their own. So uh, when I do get kids in here and uh, adopt a couple of kids, they will put stuff in here that they find uh, when wherever they go and stuff like that. This is the only thing we need here are these two. Now going upstairs. Oh, even Bethesda can't make these mannequins uh, do what they are uh, supposed to do. This uh, uh, this expansion here is Bethesda's own making, not a mod. So see, the mannequins doesn't want to stand on their pedestal, but yeah, a lot. Can still go through him like he's not even there. But if you do something like this, take something away from him. And let me see here, where do we have it? Nordic, right here. He will pop right back into place. Let's leave that one open because we don't have anything in it yet. A gourd. Hmm. Yeah. And in behind here, there's nothing much yet. But we do have a couple of, uh, um, yeah, in cabinets right here. We still need a, still need a quite a bit here. And some chair, the double bed on one side, and two single beds on the other side. A weapons plaque. Some display shells and stuff like that, and chandeliers, two small chandeliers, uh, a couple of uh, heads on the wall. So yeah, oh yeah, we also got that one. And out here, oh, come on, you can do it. Ugh. Ow. Out here we have decked it out with uh, wine and uh, go uh, goblets and stuff like that. And a nice little table to sit around. And apparently some uh, apple pie that just decided to flip around. <laughs> I walked up to it and saw, oh nice, three pieces of apple pie. And then that, that one that lands there, it was right here. Like, <coughs> I was like, whoa, that was flipping. Let's move faster. The sun is... That's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And that is the new addition to the house that I've just been finished. Which we are gonna go, go down and show you now. Which is the trophy room. And you're probably wondering, yeah, yeah, trophy room. It's just a room full of those plaques and stuff like that. But no, it isn't. It's full of these big pedestals right here. And when you places something on it they do get quite big even this sticking right here 
if only they would have set a uh, sign up when you clicked it, you could read what kind of uh, creature it was. If I, if I had something on me, you can see I can get bear and cow and all manner of a druggard, even a dwemen sphere. I might have want, uh, want, want that one there, but I'm not done yet. There's still uh, more room for more of these. Uh, uh, we got containers, cabinet, furniture, shelves, and then misc. Uh, see here, one, two, three small basins. This there's still room for. And then a couple of Pokemon, some sconces, some wall sconces. So yeah, we are almost done with the house here, guys, and we still need the cellar downstairs. Which I haven't done anything to yet. But yeah. It is coming together quite nicely. So. I am going to dedicate. This episode and tomorrow. To first of all find myself. A spouse. Though I am Kashyyyk female. So I might just go for a male. Doesn't matter. I don't freaking care. Uh, yeah, and find me a couple of uh, kids that want to be adopted. So let me see what have I got. I have nice. How you doing? Okay, let me see. Where can we f probably found find a male companion that can also be a spouse type deal? Hey, there is that Kashyyyk caravan. The Kashyyyk caravan. Um, no, 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 not the Kashyyyk caravan. Ah, oh, it's uh, up in um, um, ah, uh, what is it called? Uh, Winterhold College, right? Not Winterhold. Something like that. The college. Uh, uh, yeah, the College of Winterhold, yeah, or something like that. Where there is this Kashyyyk, uh, who actually, uh, if you do something for him, he will actually come and join you. Maybe we can ask him. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. And we are finally inside. Oh my god. Okay, let's uh, go and have a talk. Please don't bother, Mage, unless it's absolutely necessary. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please stay and listen. Why do I still have that arrow in my hand? First thing to understand is that Matt. Okay, we are going to go into restoration here and use this one called Lesser Ward. It is by its very nature volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all oh, understand what is it? that very well. We wouldn't be here if, if we you say so. Magic. If there are any of problems, course, let me know. Of course. It's my job to you keep all things running smoothly. You possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Uh, I'm not really sure what to think. I think we should learn something practical. 
Uh, safety should be more important than anything. Yeah. Well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. No, oh, don't listen to her. We can do it. Just give us a chance. All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Ah, uh, sure. Are you at all familiar with ward spells? <laughs> I already know it, and I already know how to use it. Well, then this should be no problem at all for you. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else to wait. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Now, keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation <laughs> in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. What now? Thought you'd never ask. You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? Not yet, but I will. Ah, this is good. But Gisarko will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Gisarko. Uh, you seem excited to be here. Oh yes, Gisarko hopes to find things that will make him a more powerful mage here. Hopefully, small things that fit inside pockets and will not be noticed if they are missing. <laughs> Mages in Cyrodiil are all about politics. The Synod and the College of Whispers are too busy guarding secrets to bother to teach. Skyrim was not Gisargo's first choice, but Winterhold is removed from politics, dedicated to study. This is the place for Gisargo to become great. Uh huh. Oh, but you are wrong. The only reason you could disagree is because you are losing so badly you cannot see it. <laughs> uh, you seem very sure of yourself. There is much for Gisargo to be sure of. There is skill in magic, there is charm, and there is a strong will. Gisargo will be successful. Of this, there is no doubt. Swift handing. New here too, eh? I'd hoped I wouldn't be the only Nord, but I should have known better. Why can't you, uh... Why ain't there many Nords at the college? Magic is shunned by most. If it can't be swung over your head and used to crack skulls, most Nords want nothing to do with it. Magic is seen as something for elves and weaker races. No offense, of course. Well, look at the evidence. Nords generally don't trust magic, so it's not off to a good start. Throw mm. in the Oblivion Crisis, which was caused by magic users, and the troubles now with the Aldmeri Dominion, who are elves and magic users. And finally, take the fact that the college is the only thing left standing after most of Winterhold was destroyed. It's all fairly damning. Mm, yeah. Is it difficult being away from your family? Not at all. I consider it a blessing. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence, or worse. It took years of insisting that this is what I'm meant to do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Skyrim, more different from elsewhere. But Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching all of you very 
closely. I'd like to know uh, more about the Falmer. What is it you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusting. Mm -hmm. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim, to guide its people through this time of transition, to help lead them to a better future. Yeah, right. You want to take over the whole goddamn place, you stupid motherfucker. Okay. Let us, um... Travel to, uh... Somewhere? Yeah. Oh, damn! Ugh. Come on, you can do better than that. Stop with this lacking shite. It's... Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, um... Okay, the best way to do that is just to ride out of Skyrim. You black beauty! Would you please come here? Whoa! That is an ugly head. Fucking hell, will. <laughs> God damn, that was some crazy ass shit right there. Oh my God. Hmm. I think it's this way. I have a strong feeling that it is this way. And then it is. Look at this. Whoop! Shit! God damn it! At least I have some friends to help me. No, what just happened? Accidentally shot the um, yeah her. He's got a uh, bolt in each hand. Oh 
Come back here, come back here, put down. But what happened to the other guard that I bolted in the face? time this has happened, I'll make it very clear that the college does not condone that sort of behavior. As an act of good faith on your part, I'd advise that you consider donating an amount of gold to the college. Strictly to cover damages, you understand. I believe 250 gold should be sufficient. Here's the gold uh, you wanted. Oh, excellent. I'll see that it gets where it needs to go, and I'll make sure the suspension is lifted. I'm glad we were able to clear this matter up, and I do hope we don't need to have this talk again. Take care now. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine You'll give an old man hope. Hmm. What the heck just happened there? The college will be here for you no matter what. We always look after our own. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Hmm. We got all those. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just gonna go down here and wait for that old geezer to come. Well, so see you in a bit. And here we go. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Oh, by the way, that uh, popping noise you heard, if you heard it, that was because I just, uh, it itched in my ear. I could do with that uh, popping noise. Gods. This can't, this can't be, be happening. happening. Hmm. So it's sir. I was always taught to avoid these types of things. was one of the earliest known settlements in Skyrim. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity for us, to be able to study such an early civilization and the magic they use. Well, are there any questions before we begin? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Ah, yes. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. 
the usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Cool. Um. Yes. Ah, okay, cool. I was like, what the hell? Hey, iron. We need iron to uh, build out our house. Treasure here. Something from H. Zargo, a powerful wizard. I don't think so. else would be so happy to rifle through the bones of their ancestors. Ooh, that's gold. Very nice indeed. Hmm. There we go. Well, I can see that it's going to take a bit of time in order to try and get the Shargo with us because apparently I think we need him. Um Please be careful here. The site isn't entirely secure. It's going to take forever to sit through all this. What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Until next time. Oops. Oh, that was not what I wanted to take. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it?
Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? Speak quickly. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. Okay. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Uh, some sort of ghost or apparition appeared and spoke I'm to me. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Uh, said something uh, uh, about danger ahead and the city order. Citic order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. <coughs> the Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Rocker Club? Cool. Be prepared to defend yourself. Oh, I am. With something a little bit more epic than just a few spells. This is simply fascinating. Go on already. This is simply fascinating. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake.
I just love messing with it. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't even know it was coming. Hulkin. Very, very nice indeed. Nice. Oh my god. We're already way above the wrapping up point. So yeah. Thank you all so very much for watching. And catch on the flip side. <laughs>